Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a challenge that was done on the acrylic pouring for beginners group. And um, it's just something that I've never seen done before. Now, maybe it has been done before, but me personally, I haven't seen it. So that was the challenge. So I'm ho hopefully I can execute this properly but this will be a bloom and it's going to have a bit of a surprise. So in fact, let me get my blow dryer for one second. Okay. I'm back with my, um, blow dryer. And so let's go over the colors. We're doing sort of a bloom jelly bean, kind of a fire and ice feel to it. Cool colors first, but then the fire is going to come in another area. So let's start. I got my colors, which is this um, boysenberry here. Nice, deep, rich purple. And then this one's called Water Dragon by um, Primary Elements. Let's see if I can get it up close. That's my consistency there. See how it leaves a little bit of a trace, like the way you would drizzle honey. And that's this bottle right here, the water dragon, of the prism, prism pour. And then I have also, this is called winter green. color art. This is a Liquitex color. This is a light blue. Liquitex two paints. I like to put my two paints underneath my cell activators. And this is my white Amsterdam white, but this is a color, not a cell activator. And this is a blue black, really a Payne's gray and carbon black cell activator. So that's what I'm using here. So that's gonna be my base, my ice. Then I'm gonna drag some fire to it through a chain pull. So that's the whole idea. So let's see how we can do this. Now hopefully my idea works out. Hope I can execute it the way I like. So let's put the pill down. Let's start with some colors. I'm gonna put the evergreen down first. Give it some sort of a background. Water Dragon. Boysenberry. Uh, for a darker contrast to the blue, which will be the Artist Loft 2 paint, blue. A little bit of white will go on as a solid. Not a whole lot. They'll blow over the blue. So those two are opaque. Whereas the other ones are transparent to semi-transparent. So hopefully it'll give me some nice jelly bean style cells out of the transparent colors. Where the opaque colors should give it a nice crisp ring around each cell. That's what I'm looking for. 
to give it that 3D effect. Then the blue black cell activator. Plenty of it on there, so I want to be able to blow it out nicely. So, here goes nothing. That cell activator was kind of thick, but it's still making some nice cells up in here. So let me give it a second, give it a couple of puffs in here. try this again so I like the colors my cell activator is a little too thick I think the way that's reacting so I'm going to scrape fold it in very carefully and then do it over again every painting can be fixed but I don't want to waste all this. So let me kind of pull all this to the center. Pull it in, turn it over. Turn it over. Over, turn it over, I definitely don't want to waste all this paint. It's a little trial on something. Maybe I might try it later. So let's go again. A little more pillow down. Just because it's not quite some of it came off with the original. So now I'm going to try this again. The green. The 
Winter Green. The Water Dragon. Now the reason why these colors are thick like this is because I want the cells to hold their shape and I don't want the colors to blend too easily together to make it muddy if there's a possibility for it to become muddy. But I don't have any contrasting colors right now like yellow and violet or red and green or blue and orange. So I should be okay. Do paint here. My two paint there. And then my cell activator here. This is thinner. So hopefully it'll give me a nice reaction. It's starting to sink already, so I'm liking that. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Alright. Round two. Reaction, but that was a little too thin. So I'll blow it out of my mouth. been some days since I painted and don't tell me that I lost some of my mojo and the cells active right but it didn't go all over the place like I wanted it to All right, so anyway, now that that sank, I don't probably didn't, didn't need to go all, all over the place anyway. So let me see if I can give it a spin. Let's see if that helps. Help it grow some. A lot of the little jelly beans in the center, but the lacing that went out this way is very minimal. So, that's getting straight. Let's try one last time. This time, I'm going to adjust my consistencies and all my paints. So, I thinned some of my colors down and adjusted some of the consistency because maybe that was part of the problem. I love the way this jelly bean effect worked though. So, there was nothing wrong in the blowout itself. It's that the, that, that cell activator wasn't really doing much movement, but it reacted very fast because it was thin. So, I had to make some, adjust, some adjustments. So, let me try again, but this time, since I spent most of it off, it's not much saving, so I'm gonna pour right on top of it. And no, I'm not gonna swipe. I'm going to do a bloom again. I have to keep trying until I actually do it. So, 
Now that I adjusted my consistency to the other paint, it should work. So let's get some nice, some of that nice winter green again. This water dragon is awesome. I love the way this looks. See, it's not as much, it's not, not very thin, but it's definitely thinner than I had it before. It must have tightened up after I first mixed it, which paints tend to do sometimes after it sits for a minute. A good amount of the, what is this, the boysenberry. Loft, Cerulean is what it's called. Then the white as the color, and then the black cell activator. And again, put the penny on it. And yes, it's, it's starting to make a little bit of a halo, but it's still. I adjusted that to back to a better thickness because I think I made it too thin. So here we go. much better about that one. Okay, so now, get a few little puffs in the center with my straw. And after that, I'll spin it slightly and then work on my surprise. very happy with that one. Much better. So now I'm going to give it a spin. Open her up. Let me move this over slightly. Give it a slow spin. To open the baby up. so much better. So now for the surprise. One second. So those are my cool colors. Now comes my warm colors as my fire. I've already did the cool colors first. So let me turn this my way, because I 
think. I'm gonna try it this way. I think this orientation the best. This is the best. So let me get my chain up right here. So start with you here, lay you down, side by side, like so, like so, and then the rest of this, I'm just going to actually drag some through to modify the person. I just slide these straight through. Just like that. Yep. Let's rinse this off. Do it again. A nice fresh bead. I'm going to go right across this right here. Kind of like go right on top of it. Go down the same exact area. Like so. Ta da. That's there. I'm going to give it one final spin. Take time to take some of the uh, some of that edge off on the bottom. Pull that down. Oh yeah. So. There you have it, folks. And I'll get you down for a closer look. This is one of my favorites, and I hope it's y'all's favorite, too. The first time trying this, I had the vision in my head. I said, you know what? I'm going to try this out. And I'm very happy with it. So let me get you down for a closer look. All right, folks. I'm down for a closer look. Look at how all those jelly beans opened up. Pretty greens, pretty blues, the violets. Let me see if I can get my light on for my um, video. I guess I gotta try it with the light on next time. But look at that chain pole there. Look at those colors in there. I'll get a little focus in there. There we go. But yes, this piece, I'm very happy with it. So it's a bloom and chain pull combination. And I got the little fiery flowers, almost like cow lilies. I guess this nice blueberry bush. I'll call it that. <laughs> well, anyway. I'm gonna focus back in. There we go. I had to pull it away. But there you have it, folks. But again, we're gonna try new things. I don't like to try the same old thing over and over again. But for now, have a great night. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art, and happy pouring. Bye bye.